things to avoid in order for you not to have a wasted life. We are in the last days, and this last days is grossed, darkened by wickedness. And if you are not careful, you will lose investments of 20 years. If you are not careful, you will run into millions and then get things wasted. What must I do in order for me to avoid a wasted life? Number one, maintain a quality spiritual life. Now, you will understand that whatever happens physically is provoked spiritually. You cannot have a sustained legacy in prosperity, in business, in marriage, if God's hand is not involved. Number two, how do I avoid a wasted life? Maintain a quality relationship with people. And that's why who surrounds you determines how you survive in life. If you are manipulated, spiritually, physically, your destiny is manipulated. If you don't understand that those who surround you determines what you become, determines how you react, determines how you grow, then you may not, you may be growing, but not growing properly. And that's why you must check those who surround you. Maintain a quality relationship with people. Your future is determined by quality relationship. Your level of advancement, level of performance, level of information, level of, of performance in every field of endeavor that you choose as a person, as a man, as a woman, as a boy, as a girl, is determined by those around you. And that is why you need to be wise in what you're doing. In Acts 14, verse 20, how Bert, as the disciples stood around about him, you see that? His disciples stood round about him. He rose up. Those who surround you will either bring you down or make you stand up. The level of your appreciation in life determines the kind of people around you. The level of your speed in destiny determines those around you. You must be very careful about those around you. That is why when you have quality relationship with people, especially those who are intelligent, spiritual, those who are, who are calculative, those who understand the purpose of your destiny, you will discover purpose yourself. If you're a friend to poor people, let me assume, your friends are negligent about their destiny. Your friends are running life without a vision. If you're a friend to three poor people, very soon you'll be the fourth one. But if you're a friend to three rich people who understand how to maximize their time, how to invest their resources, how the Lord has programmed their destiny, then you will be the fourth one. And that's why it's very important. Surround yourself with quality people. Quality people. It will help you. It will help you. Number three, how to avoid a wasted life. Number three, live on purpose. Live on purpose. A life of purpose is a life of profit. A life of no purpose is a life of lust. You cannot enjoy divine relevance without purpose. It's better to take risk in life and not taking risk at all. Those living in purpose are men who understand their future. Don't just live, don't just exist. Live on purpose. Something should wake you up in the morning. Something should be triggered in your system. What are you passionate about? What are you living for? When you see people gallivanting, when you see people without result, without effect, without anything about their life, no meaning for anything, is as a result of living life without purpose. I want to encourage you today, live a life of purpose. Purpose is a trigger for excellence. Purpose is a trigger for speed. Purpose is a trigger for fulfillment. You cannot be fulfilled without a life of purpose. Check the list of great men in life. They are men who lived on purpose. Daniel 1 verse 8. Now hear this. But Daniel proposed in his heart 
that he will not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the Enoch's that he might not defile himself. You see, it's not because Daniel had a purpose. Daniel lived on purpose. He understood. When you live on purpose, you are conscious of your environment. You are conscious of the things you do. You are conscious of your actions. You are conscious of your character. Because a man without purpose, a man who, has, who don't live in purpose or in purpose, will be disconnected from his maker. When you live on purpose, it reminds you of what you should do, how to do them, when to do them. A man that lives on purpose is passionate about his future. So defying yourself now as a young man, as a married man, as a married woman, doesn't make sense. And that is why in your business, your business needs to live on purpose. In your marriage, don't just wake up and say, I want to get married. You must allow your marriage to live on purpose. You want to enter school. You want to gain admission to university to study of a beautiful course. Let that study be a study of, on, on purpose. You must have purpose in everything you're doing. That is how to make results. That is how to build a legacy. That is how to be resultful. That is how to avoid distraction. Hear me. The distractions we see in life is as a result of lack of purpose. And that is why I want to encourage you today to live a life of purpose. Where, the, where life is without a bearing, it becomes a burden. And that is why if your life is not triggered by purpose, you'll be distracted with a lot of things. Imagine a man who is destiny is heading to the north, and then all of a sudden is heading to the south. How are you going to achieve purpose? And that's why the best person that knows about your destiny is God. And that is why I, re I repeatedly said, the first trigger that helps you avoid a wasted life is building a quality spiritual life.